So, um, as you can see, this is a very happy occasion. I have a new guitar. So, uh, this is an absolutely stunning uh, Zeus M7 from Kiesel. And, um, yeah, um, I got in touch with Kiesel in October. They estimated the finish date of January. Um, and, and so I did my tracking my practice and paying myself and then they actually uh, they actually finished early which is awesome so uh, yeah I ordered it at the end of October and I've got it at the start of December which is awesome um, I I got a new guitar because I find that out of the different guitars that I own I was gravitating more and more to my Schecter um, and so a lot of my recent videos, they're all on the Schecter. And it was because it was a hardtail. It was comfortable to play for pretty much everything, even if it wasn't, you know, as comfortable as my RG. The difference is that I can have the Schecter lying out and it's ready to pick up at any moment. Um, and I thought, well, you know, if I'm going to be picking up a hardtail for almost everything, and I'm usually playing in a round drop A, why don't I buy a guitar that's fucking awesome <laughs> and and have it take over that main main axe position? Um, so this is a, it's a, first of all, it's absolutely beautiful, right? Uh, so. To be honest, I can get to within about 90% of what I want to sound like uh, for any of my videos or just for me playing around uh, with the, the axe effects, right? That's what's really doing the heavy lifting in terms of tone. Uh, that being said, this does sound a lot better. <laughs> but, but the reason I got this guitar was for um, convenience. First of all, right? Like you can pick this up anytime. It's in tune. It feels great. It's it doesn't matter how, how much I bend the strings or how hard I pick, which is a big problem <laughs> for me. Um, it's just in tune. It sounds good, right? It's this is <laughs> it's 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 so basic, right? It, you don't think yourself buying a new guitar just for convenience, but it's so convenient, right? It's light, it's comfortable, it's, uh, like, I, it's, it's, a, it's really well built. Uh, another reason um, is aesthetics, let's be honest, right? Um, I have a guitar now, and it's just so beautiful, right? Uh, that's probably why you're watching this video, is because the guitar is beautiful. Um, it's incredibly playable. Um, so I, I did some really challenging music to kind of demo this guitar for you guys. And, uh, I, I honestly, the last 10, going from 90% tempo to 10, 100% tempo, that was just picking up this guitar. I had it at 90% before, uh, on my old guitar, on my old guitars. And then I, I got this guitar picked it up and basically just could play what I wanted to play. Um, it doesn't feel um, like some really fast playing guitars, thin necks, uh, flat radiuses, all that. Sometimes they feel very slippery, um, which I don't like. Uh, but the Kiesel, it feels very, it feels very precise. It feels, um, it, it, it doesn't feel like the guitar is, is running away with me, right? It just feels like it's really enhancing my playing. I am going to have to learn to play with a slightly lighter touch, but I already play better on this. Um, the jumbo frets make my vibrato sound better, which <laughs> I appreciate any help with that I can get. Um, but it does, I think, improve comfort and it does improve tone, right? It, it, uh, and this is this is something I really wanted this particular fan, and I couldn't find any other guitar makers that actually offered it as, as like their standard. 
option. And um, the fact that Keith all makes gorgeous guitars and offer that as their standard fan, I mean, that was basically what started me down the road. Although I've been super happy with absolutely everything about the guitar uh, and with Kiesel. Um, and then um, finally, like it does sound great. It sounds big. It sounds kind of three dimensional. Um, I have to confess, I'm not really a, a guitar tone nerd, right? It's not. Uh, I kind of turn on the X effects and I dial something and I'm happy with, right? Um, so I'm going to link you to a much more in-depth review by someone who really like seems to understand tone and dialing in a good studio sound and all that stuff because they're just going to do a better job than me. But what I can tell you is I'm a, I love playing guitar, right? And this is the best guitar I've ever owned, right? By a long shot. It's, I, it, you know, it's almost, <laughs> it feels a bit sacrilegious saying it, but I actually think it plays better than the black machines I've played. Um, and I've, I've played uh, Doug's personal six, um, B6, and I played one of the F8s. And um, I think this doesn't sound quite as good, but it actually plays better, which is nuts. Um, yeah, so expect to see a lot more of this guitar on basically everything on this channel. Uh, partly because I love playing it, and partly because it's going to, you know, it's it's it's. I bought it to be my new do everything guitar, so I hope it does. Uh, thank you for watching.